You know, it's, it's basically, there is no uh, unstoppable force here. It's just two immovable objects running at each other. Yeah, man, these, these boys are just going to redline on each other the whole way through. So I'm expecting a fun set, no matter how it ends out. And that's going to be a big thing for Nick, too, being able to, you know, use that Falcon Dive uh, out of shield. Uh, again, it's just free damage. Just look, look at that. That's so good, especially against a character like Greninja, who loves to kind of stay on top of you at that, like, 45-degree angle. Oh, Venia loves to fight up close and personal. Oh, <laughs> call out on the release of Shield. Just charge that up smash. Both hits connect. Nick already got Venia down to his last life. Because he can catch that all up in one good string. Or if he manages to force you into a situation where you you don't have good landing options. Yeah, both his characters' advantage states are absolutely insane. As you can see right here, Venia going for the aggressive landing option. Continuing to keep the string on Nick C. That last hit of the back air uh, coming out. Uh, and almost getting the read with the forward smash, but just a uh, little quick on the, his own draw. All right, down throw sets up, and once no again, way. up smash. Yo, even Venio is confused. <laughs> Nick, oh, you see, this is exactly why I said he's a terrorist. All right, Nick, he's out of here. Bro. Go off, King. <laughs> Far too many times, both today and in my lifetime. So, Venia having none of that. He's like, all right, we're going to go to Final Destination. We're going to keep things... Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep things even for the both of us. So is it even? Ooh. Is it really an even match? No, no, it is not. If you <laughs> if a frog dies in space and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, we're definitely hearing it. That's one big crone thing. The stock immediately evaporated from Benia. As you let Nick go right to the ledge while he was an advantage. How how are you gonna do that? I, you know what, man? Your guess is as good as mine. Captain Falcon, he's just such. He's always been such an explosive character, Hangman, and. You know, Nixie just embodying that. You know, once he's able, he gets those hits, whether it be you know, the side beer or the first hit in air, he's just so good at converting. But the same can be said for Venia. He's so good at just taking that initial hit, whatever it may be, the dash attack or the down tilt, and being able to carry it for as long as he humanly can. When Venia is in control of a situation, it truly is art in motion. Ooh. The way he knows exactly how to call out any move and trace his opponents from side to side of a stage is always a wonder to see. Yeah, great job with the forwarder uh, taking that stock from Nick. It's really. just buttons all over the place, bro. For real, man. But, like, they're smart about it, too, and they're playing on so many levels of I know that you know that I know that you know. It's like, why would you up to there? Why would you down there there? It's because these, these guys have fought each other so many times. They have so much respect for each other's play that they know exactly what they can get away with. Oh, yeah, it, it's in their blood for sure. Ooh, the drag down, up air, oh, into the a forward smash. Oh, Goodbye, what? sir, says Vania. As the game counts this 1-1, one, one. This, this is a paradise for Nick. Small stage that he's able to navigate extremely fast, able to combo across violently. What more could you want as a Falcon player? Yeah, and having that platform in the middle of the stage is going to be great in regards to kind of, you know, making Benia think uh, a little bit uh, more carefully about his combos. It's going to give him some coverage above him because Greninja loves oh. to approach him. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. That was a horrid connection. If things manage to get a little slower, that's where Youngling's tools are more acclimated for the zone game. I but agree. while we're redlining, let's just build up a clean 52% to start the game as we start things off for Kalos Pokemon League. Yeah, Olimar is, again, a phenomenal character in regards to just being able to rack up damage. Like, being able to go from 0 to 60 in 3.5 is fantastic. Like, players, it's, it's, it's just insane of how how good this character can be in regards to the damage department, especially with the right lineup. And the Buzz has been doing a really good job capitalizing on, on the high offense lineups that he's been able to uh, pull. That's really important. I didn't know that that was going to trade like that. The fact that Olimar's up air is going to be able to beat out Young Link's down air, really important. Because Biddy doesn't have a safe landing option. So if the Buzz can just keep on racking up the damage with the jungles, he's going to consistently threaten kill anytime Biddy's at any mid to high percentage. You got 32 from a down throw raw bear. That's crazy. Again, just like the amount of time you have to adjust to what Olimar's throwing at you. Like the window is so small. And it's looking like that. The Biddy having a uh, impossible time of getting back down to the stage. Oh, and from deep. Yikes. The free throw line uh, <laughs> coming through in spades. I think Buzz has developed pretty fine counterplay for the projectile hell. He's sacrificing a lot of pigment to not worry about boomerang and further advancing whenever fire arrows or bombs are taken out. We're well, good on Biddy for delaying any of his returns with spin attack because we're seeing that that one little chop is helping keep the buzz at bay. 
That's okay. No up, up smash or up smash coming out uh, for the buzz right there. And Vinny just trying to apply some sort of pressure. And it looks like the buzz is just running away with this game right now. Ooh. Oh, in a What's a king to a god? What is the noggin to a sword? <laughs> so. It's a hard noggin, man. But that is a pretty hard sword. I mean, I mean that, that's a med school head, man. Like, that brain is huge. Yeah. <laughs> that or, oh, but he's uh, dead. Yeah, no, you. Yeah. No matter how many years you go to school, <laughs> you're not coming back from that. See, even Leon's working around. like, yeah, all right, GG's a god. <laughs> fun to watch. Yeah. Let's see if Biddy can deliver it to us. As game two brings us to Smashville, and as we've already seen from Biddy, this is a fine stage for him to play on. Let's see what Jules got planned. Yeah, I guess a smaller stage, I think, uh, you know, Jules was like, all right, let me cut the distance that you have to camp and the distance that I have to cut down in order to get to you. So, And a center platform also going to be a huge factor here, you know, for both players. Ooh, Biddy! Okay, oh, Biddy! Big brain filled with wrinkles. Yo, Biddy plays. It's just the Mobile Fortress style of game works so well on Smashville because Biddy just needs to control the space from one edge of that center platform to the other. And his projectiles have an active space that goes from that edge to the ledge. And then from there, Young Link just has a very strong ledge game. It's just a perfect amount of space to control. Ooh. All right, despite the Nosferatu, Biddy continuing the onslaught right now. <laughs> Elf Thunder still not enough just yet. There you go. Levin there will be the uh, the ender of stocks right there for Jewel. Let's see, what is the possible be? Biddy. Oh my gosh, just weakened in the first row of seats is that forward air kill. Once again, Biddy finds himself way ahead right now. Is Oh my. But for how long? Oh, oh my god! You know, Biddy had a lead. He had a lead. Jewel didn't like that. I think it'll be in the chat with the exclamation bracket command too. Yeah, he's gonna be fighting off against Venia later on, but now we got Nixie versus the Buzz. And now again, seeing Nixie here, he has not entered a tournament in like months. A while, it, yeah, a since long Big time. House. So like yeah. a month and a half. He said he's been on hiatus and you know, man, sometimes just clearing your frame of mind and getting a little bit of a reset, a cleanse going is the best thing for your gameplay. Nixie really a testament to that statement right now. And you know he's going to be nuts when he goes into this, right? You saw him already setting up a bunch of those neutral layers, pushing him back off stage, attempting to go for an early kill on DeBuzz. Just to get that momentum boost, but instead uh, have a little awkward moment of him just kind of falling to his death. I mean, if you want to talk about momentum, DeBuzz is the first guy looking to take it away from you at all times. This guy... Unstoppable defense, but I think people don't credit his offense either. I mean, look at that. Two up smashes into a bear. He put 55 on the board in seconds. Like, his ledge trapping is on point. Like, you see it. Every single time, he just tries to tack on as much damage as possible. Now, Nixie has beaten DeBuzz in the prior game, Smash 4. There was a time when he beat him, so this isn't out of the realm of possibilities for Nick to actually take this. You see that transition, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was actually sick. I was going to comment on that, man, because Smashville into Smashville. Even matchup gaming, bro. Yeah. Emphasis on the gaming. <laughs> I hate you oh. so much. To Buzz, though, cooking right now. That was an extremely strong opening from him. Wow, and the white F-Smash just sounds so underwhelming, but does his job, man. Still got a ton of range. I feel like he held down to go past the ledge. Yeah. Smart stuff. Grimy stuff, honestly, yeah. from Nixie. That's like, yo, I'm going to die if he reads this, but yeah, why not? Still died anyways. Get another up-Smash. Not too much damage on the table for Nick. Okay, those right. big men are wailing on him. The buzz on the verge of a JV3 to go to Grand Finals winner side, man. Nixie gonna ruin the fun a little bit, but I think the buzz just has this one in the bag. And Nixie has beaten him in Smash 4, like you said, man, but I think Falcon did kinda okay against Rosalina. Olimar, I can't say the same. Yeah, you could definitely sense a little bit of struggle here coming out from Nick, or just Captain Falcon in general. Yeah, normally, I mean, as a fast character against his owner, oh, oh. you don't want it. You know what, man? It doesn't matter what you normally want to do because. Yep. Uh, that match, not exactly <laughs> abiding by the normal rules of a set. Very unfortunate there for Nixie. Going to lose his last stock by virtue of an SD. I think uh, he expected that air dodge to grab the edge, but unfortunately, just didn't connect. But you the dash attack up smash from Venia. Oh, dude. Yeah. Tail as old as time. <laughs> they landed down the air. Oh, that... Was he trying to auto snap? I don't know what he was looking for. Maybe he angled that boomerang and he got an accidental FB. Because mm. that just seemed very weird. All right, Biddy with the comp.
combo opener here. Down throw to fair. Nothing off of it, though. Venia gonna fight out his disadvantage. Land some nice damage. Oh, the tech chase. The oh. fake out with that dash. Oh, oh got it again. God. Venia has momentum. He's out of jumps. No bomb in hand, but he gets back on the stage and adds some damage onto the board. Yeah, this just got out of hand real quick. Biddy's been leading like the whole game. Throwing out the boomerang, the force out the air dodge. He recognized that Venny was out of jumps. Oh, and a simple roll is all it takes to get behind him or to get back into the center. Bro, that boomerang coming back. I thought he was going to do something nasty with that. Okay, just stuffs out the up air completely by going for his fastest aerial, the Nair. Well, these guys are whiffing right now. The fire oh, arrow! Oh, the fire arrow? <laughs> that, wow! All right, Biddy. Crazy knockdown setup there. There was no way Penny was ready to tech a fire arrow from the he ground level. He probably wasn't level. even thinking to tech. Like, that was probably yeah, like nothing that happened saying, in your yeah. brain. Like, what? Yeah. Look at this. I it was so quick. I definitely got I, de I, I lost two stocks to that, man. Jeez. Like, there was no way he could have reacted to that. There's no way he thought he was going to be even put into that situation. Right, right. He landed out the back air to push Nixie towards the corner. He's got stage Ooh. control. Sets him up nicely. He uses his double jump early to recover high. The weak nuke into F smash was really good. Oh! Down air? Outer hit of down air. And now Venia in a position where he might die. Nick is just so ah. scary off the stage. Oh! oh! He got it! He just ran off and did it! Down air! Now I gotta say, I, I appreciate how Nick plays with no headphones, man. Not only is that a sign of confidence in your gameplay, like, oh, I don't even need to hear that. Okay, so that was a different change from Winner's Finals. Nixie actually getting the first stock, first blood. They're still tied, but, like, you know, that, that's a definitely a hell of a lot better start. That whistle escape from Buzz though, just so aware of the ways he can avoid continually getting hit, man. Like, I used to think Buzz had some obvious air dodge patterns. Oh, but... Maybe he still I think he, does. He still does, bro. As uh, you, said, you called it out completely, a knee coming out from Nixie after after the air dodge. And that's what Falcon wants. Oh my he wants lord! The air dodges. Down smash. Dude, this is a completely different Nixie from the one I saw in Winners Finals. This is, this is the th one who was fighting Venia. This is the I don't give a fuck Nixie. Yeah, this is true. Who that is. I don't think he has ever given fucks, man. Like the, <laughs> the way he's playing is just absolutely off the wall. Wow, Neen Pikmin. He knows it can be useful against all. Right, of us. extend that hitbox. Make it last longer. Okay, Nixie looking for this option. Dash attack. Just catch that landing. I mean, it's a very good tool for anyone that's just jumping in on you. All right. Breezing through with the dash attack. It's a great Pikmin killing tool. Nixie, wow, throwing Olimar off, killing the purple Pikmin in the process. And I think a red as well. Wow, dude. I can't believe he's doing this. Down smash? Oh, Upbeat. what is this, Falcon man? Falcon dive? Nixie. And, yeah, that's a great answer to Olimar's recovery uh, when he's forced to come up with it. And Nixie chose right. Stop so crying. So scared. Yeah, fighting to do. Oh, man. One stock. The final stock for Nick. Can he pull this through? If anyone's got fighting to do, it's Nixie right now. This is the last breath of his tournament life. He was working on a 3-0 here. To Buzz, not to turn that around on him if nothing dramatic happens here. But this up air chain. Oh, no, never mind. It, he needed that, too. Like yeah. that, that, that was crucial. You can't let the buzz breathe at all. And that new nair for Rose is so crucial right there. If it was the old one, she would have started in the back, you know, and not yeah. been able to fight out of this advantage, especially with the hitbox that good. And I, I love that recovery from the buzz. You saw him just mix up where he's going to go for the ledge or they cross the entirety of the stage, and Nixie wasn't able to react in time to try to chase after her. 102% on DeBuzz trying to catch. It. Oh, he ah. bet it all by trying to go for that low edge guard. DeBuzz catching him completely off guard by just going for the immediate double jump, almost reacting to Nixie's edge guard. Jumps above him, gets the downer, gets the stage spike, and that's going to be a th reverse 3 0.